folks, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And a body has been discovered! Oh, thank you, Monokuma. Absolutely. I'm actually, uh, I'm not part of this case. No, um, Monokuma's <laughs> tapped out yeah, right now. Yeah, he's been sidelined. And frankly, the stewards of the, of the Mono Cubs aren't terribly invested either. And uh -uh. yet, a body has been discovered nonetheless. Uh, unfortunately, last time we learned that Angie, the ultimate artist and also potentially the ultimate cult le leader, um, is dead. Uh, yeah. Has been killed in ways that we have not only uh, we've not yet begun to investigate. Uh, Angie was part of a student council cult that was leading and controlling the rest of the party in order to keep them happy with being in this confined situation and not desire the outside world. Because from Angie's perspective, it was that desire that led to the previous killings. Um, the student council had locked down uh, the school at nighttime and was corralling folks to make sure that they behaved. Uh, but unfortunately, their control was not enough or perhaps there is a murderer hidden within the student council. We don't know. Mm -hmm. um, Angie was in the process of trying to resurrect a fallen student. Um, yes. And thus we have a whole bunch of effigies hung, hung from the ceiling. So, you know, that's interesting. Uh, but before we could start to investigate, half of the party actually left in order to conduct a seance so that they could ask Angie who killed her. So they are going to the other side of this floor um, in order to go to a very dark room and conduct the caged child ritual. Yes. While we have remained here to see what actually happened to Angie. Yep, and do some some investigating here. Yep. Uh, uh, lots of questions. Oh, we also learned last time that Tenko is was not like re actually on board with being as part of the student council, uh, and had come to us to yeah. Like, she was just trying to protect Himiko. Yeah, she's trying to pe protect Himiko and coming to us to seek some help. Um, we also learned that Kaito is just afraid of ghosts and they make him feel bad and yep. sick. <laughs> that, so that, that is also accurate. That's pretty much it. Uh, Maki is becoming more involved, um, although nobody except for Kaito and Shuichi trust Maki because she is the ultimate assassin and she um, did not reveal that to the group. Mm -hmm. I mean, rightfully so, I would say. Uh, well, I don't know about rightfully, but I understand. <laughs> um, and, and finally, uh, I'm just doing a little character roundup here. Just some comments. Uh, Kokichi, Kokichi, Kokichi. What have you been up to? I had to, I said, had to say his voice three. His you his did. I mean, right now like he's Beetlejuice. up to a seance. <laughs> yes, <so. laughs> but I, he's been uh, shall we say trailing us the whole time? Like he's been around. You know, yeah. I don't know. I I don't know if he's like actually suspicious or anything, but. Um, he's been poking his nose around. It's um, definitely worth noting. Yeah, just wanted to call that out. Um, oh, all right. I guess we'll continue here and then investigate this room. Yeah. And with the with the wax. Let's, let's see what's going on. We haven't even begun. Yeah. Uh, did you read this line last time? Maybe. I'm sure I did. I'll just continue. They, they're gone. The yeah. folks we said are gone He's are gone. Stupid. Yeah. Are they serious about the stupid seance? But. Perhaps that's just part of the investigation in their eyes. We should go with it. In any case, I should focus on what I can do. Okay. What the ultimate detective can do. Investigation start. Right. Oh boy. There is much to- Why can't I click on any of the effigies? Well, we clicked on them before. Yeah, but uh, the the, the one Kaede with the sword. one it has this fucking sword. Yeah, in you're her. right. I mean, maybe when I get close to yeah, his it may body. be that we move into that space. Yeah, before I move into that space, I'm yes, I know. I'm not trying to leave. Uh, I'm trying to turn that off. Uh, I want to talk to everyone else first. Okay, sounds good. Um, we'll start with Mew. What's up, Mew? Hey, Mew. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this busty brainy beauty has this all figured out. Huh? Huh? You mean, you know who the culprit is? What was that? Huh? The culprit? Fuck that. Hey. Shuichi, do we really have time to be listening to her? Wait. Hey, hey, wait, God damn it! Are you just gonna ignore my genius idea? What? Just uh, listen to me, okay? Come on, listen to me. Listen. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, if you're gonna twist my arm, then I'll tell you. You better thank me for this. You know. 
I know y'all are dumber than fleas, but even you know, you get, wait, but even you get how weird these wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they for the ritual or another purpose? Well then. But I figured out it was, but, but God, I can never fucking, I, I read her too fast and I got lucky <laughs> the light. But I figured it out with just one glance. These are diversions. Could it be diversions? Listen up. Yep. The culprit used these wax dolls to distract us from something. Got a minute? What do you mean by that? What? How should I know? Isn't that Sherlock Holmes' job? Hey, come on, Neil. You're a waste of time. <sighs> Maki turned and walked away. I can't say I blame her. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'd be like, all right, I'm out. Yeah. Like, I would be like, okay, fuck you, Neil. Yep. I'm leaving. <sighs> what was that? Huh? The hell's her problem? She on the rag or something? Oh my god, Mew. Everything that comes out of her mouth! So, and she made these dolls, huh? The resemblance is pretty uncanny. They say the devil's in the details, you know? Let's just see how detailed these really are. Ugh. Hey! Mew tried to look up the wax figure's skirt. Of course she did. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Stop that! <laughs> What? I just wanted to see if this doll was wearing panties. Um. Wait, do you have a doll fetish? Are you excited that your dead girlfriend is a doll now? Ha, if you like virgin. dolls so much, then go fuck a doll already. <laughs> I'm starting to agree with Maki. Talking to Mew is a waste of time. She just doesn't... Uh, guy just... Uh, it's like... I have to click on her by necessity, <laughs> but... <sighs> we got the idea that they're distractions from her, so, you yeah, know, okay. conversation over. <laughs> we got that. All right. Smoothie? Oh, hi. Um, um, I'm not sure if it's okay to say this or not, but could Tenko be the culprit? Huh? Huh? Tenko? Huh? Oh, it's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Himiko say that Tenko was trying to betray the student council. No, so you suspect Tenko? Actually. Cause as a member of the student council, she should have been allowed into this lab. Oh yeah. That's right. And you did allow members of the student council to enter her lab. Oh. Yeah. Angie had been shut away here working on the ritual by herself since yesterday. She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's voice. That's true. That would certainly point to Tenko. She did betray the student council after all. No. It's not that I want to suspect, to suspect Tenko, but since only student council members would have been let in here. So Angie only let the student council members in. That would be Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Samugi. Okay. Of that group, Tenko is certainly the most suspicious. Okay. Samugi's account. Okay. Gonta? Uh, Gonta? You have anything to say? What's up, man? Why? A murder at nighttime is strange. Impossible, even. Why? Why do you think that? Right. Cause student council make rule that no one can be outside during nighttime. Everyone should have been asleep. No way murder could happen at nighttime. Okay, boy, sorry. <laughs> I, I blew out my voice earlier today. And <laughs> Gonza, my guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Gonza's gonna sound a little different tonight. He's gonna tonight. sound a little different tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's fine. <laughs> I knew I knew someone would hit on him. <laughs> it's Gonta. Gonta, you're the one that suffers. Yep. <laughs> oh no. Do you really think everyone would go along with that rule? But but if but it ought to a rule. Angie say she punish us if we don't follow rules. But but the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They could do what they wanted. Uh. Angie was also working here at night. <gasps> huh? She was? But no way! Student council would never break own rules! Oh, Conta. Right! They should have been asleep in own rooms! To set good example to others! 
Maybe Angie got attacked while she sleep in her room and get brought here? Gonta, If so, Gonta could have saved her! If only Gonta knew! But Gonta was sleeping. Sorry, Angie. Gonta no could save you. <laughs> Gonta just constructed this entire he narrative really did. in his head. He made up a version so that he could blame himself. Hold well on, oh, Gonta. Gonta. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, buddy. Poor guy. I find it hard to believe that no one went outside. In spite of the student council rule. Yeah. Considering that we did it, you know. Yeah. It was a little naive, Gonta. Sorry. And Himiko was out. We know Tenko, Himiko, uh, Maki, us. Yeah. A lot of people were out. Oh, wait. Ooh. I Not at 2 a.m., but yes. you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, Maki. I need to talk to Maki before I go over there. Hey. Your characters on the, are on this side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to confirm something. When we got to this lab, you're sure that the front door was locked? Okay. Yes, I'm positive. Okay. I, gra I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. Okay. It really is locked. I knew it. The front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the lock to open it. <laughs> Kokichi, uh, Kokichi put some thin needles and uh, pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Okay, he unlocked it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. There. Open says me. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. So he picked this cylinder lock open. Hey. Do you think anyone else could have opened the lock besides him? That's true. It would have been impossible from outside. The monocubs took the key. Okay, so that like somebody, uh, I mean, someone could have been in there and locked it and then closed the door on the way out and locked it. Yep. You know, that's kind of the other thing that I'm There's also came two to doors mind. with two different locks. Two doors with two different locks, that's true. Yep. But I guess, okay, so I, uh, yeah. Angie, we were saying that Angie was locked in here all night and wouldn't have opened the door unless it was the voice of a student, of council, a member. student council member. Okay, just taking that into account yep. as well. Okay. Oh, it's me. Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. Ow. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door open it from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> the Monaco recap is lower budget. <laughs> Let me see that, Kiri. <laughs> <laughs> We're less interested in the Monaco recap. Yeah, I mean, we know that they yeah, eat they the eat key. Yeah, they eat the key. Mon Monadom ate the nom. key. Nom, nom, nom. Ah, he ate it. <laughs> <laughs> the lower budget <laughs> So, Kokichi is the only one who could have opened or closed the doors from the outside, right? Hmm. Correct. Only Kokichi could have been able to open and close the door from outside. From outside. Okay. But someone inside could have opened and closed it as they pleased. Do we know if there are any vents in this Great place? question. Do we? It's always good to consider. <laughs> It's always an option. Could, could someone small, Kokichi, <laughs> be crawling around I in mean, the vents or something? I just... I mean, an, I would, an interesting thought. Yeah, have we seen any evidence of vents yet? I'm trying to think. Um, well, maybe when we investigate this room some more or the other rooms. Wait, there was something, wasn't there? In one of... The lightless rooms, the windowless rooms. Didn't we see something at the floor? It's not a. Uh, it's like it's a, a like an elevated floor type of thing. Yeah. Maybe not elevated, okay. but there's like there's there's, there's something. A, yeah. There's like a. It's a. It's there's a, a hole in the floor. floor, and there and you can yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's like, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just. Uh, I'm just think. I'm. My brain is jumping way too far ahead. Than Probably. What the game is giving yeah. me right now. <laughs> so I just. My mind. But was, it's good. To, it's good to you know start <laughs> trying to see what the the puzzle yeah. looks like. And I just was thinking of Alice in the Vents. Yeah. And always. Just, and that it's yeah. always good to I, keep her in mind. <laughs> If okay. you don't see her, there's always a possibility she's there. In the vents! It's like, it's like <laughs> Scherzinger's cat. <laughs> Until proven otherwise. Uh, okay. But someone inside. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the front door was locked from inside the room? No. Not necessarily. I I'm just thinking of possibilities. But in that case, 
the question becomes how the person who locked the doors got out. Mm -hmm. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the door. But again, like I said, if you can lock it on the inside, can you just close the door? I mean, unless it's not that kind of, unless it's like you actually have to turn the, the lock into the, the door. Yeah, maybe. I, I, we don't know. We don't but, know the, yeah. what the lock mechanism is Something like. Something to consider. Yeah. Yes. They're trying to set it up like it was a locked room. Yes. Like, a, like it's a locked room puzzle. It's puzzle. a room with locks. Yes. <laughs> and it's got two doors. So yeah. we've got like stuff to work with here. All right, I'm going to go over by Angie's body. We got we to gotta take a look at Angie's body. She's lying face down on the in the middle of the room. What's wrong? Are you going to take a closer look? Uh, okay. Yes, I, I was planning to. Got a minute? Then let's hurry up and do it. We can't afford to waste any more time here. Maki didn't hesitate. She stepped past me and walked over to the body. She has no problem with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, let me do another ping here. Okay, now I can click on all sorts of stuff. Yes. Um, I'll get to the body last. I'm gonna start with the hanging wax doll of Kaede with the with, with the swords. The, oh, I can, the you katana can look at the is katana. separate. Okay. Interesting. It is the katana, right? Looks Prob like it. Yeah. From from Kyo's room. Yeah. Probably. From Kyo's room. A katana Whoa. stabbed into Kaede's wax effigy. And and. Uh, they're trying to set it up like this was Kokichi because Kokichi was like touching the sword and really interested in it. I don't, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I made a huge mental leap there again as well. <laughs> I should just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not the takeaway. <laughs> oh, my mind is just bouncing all over it's, the place. It's good. We're getting facts. That's what we're. That's what we're. We're doing sure. here. Who did this? And why? Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Got a minute? Let me see. Sending a message about Kai about thoughts about Kaede feels like as well. I don't know. Maki nudged me aside, then gripped the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, wait, this is a crime scene. You can't. What is it? You want to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do that if I don't pull it out. Because. Yes, true, but we have to preserve the scene. Maki paid me no mind to my protest and stared at the katana for a while. Is this. Oh, there's blood on it. It's a real katana, but there's gold leaf on it. Yep. Uh, okay. Yes, I believe it's the one that was on display in the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. Hmm. hmm. Is that so? Okay. We can probably assume that this is the murder weapon, judging from the blood stains on the tip. Mm. The edge is too rusty to cut well, but it should be enough to stab. But... But why would they go through the effort of using this as a murder weapon? That's true. Good question. They could have gone to my lab and grabbed any more suitable weapon. Could it be... Perhaps it was because Kyo's lab is on the same floor? They just grabbed something close by? They may have been in a hurry. Well. Or maybe they needed a long weapon like this. Hmm. Because you're coming down through the vents. You gotta, I don't know, you gotta reach them. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> or up through the floor, if you're coming up from underneath. It hit her, her neck. But it hit her neck, so I don't know Which when... doesn't, doesn't disqualify either of those. It's just worth noting where she... Yeah, yeah. true. She also got hit on the... or some, There's something on her head as well. Or maybe the door, or maybe it was, no, that doesn't make any sense. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to say, maybe it was, she was stabbed through, like, the slit in the door or something. But then, like, how the did slit the- in the door, the, the bottom of the door? Or something. I don't know. Between yeah, the two be really doors, hard to hit like- her, her neck. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the situation that would need to, to have been happening for that to happen. <laughs> But, you know, it's a theory. I don't a know. A game theory. A game theory. God damn it. <laughs> Every theory we have while playing this is a game. This technically, <laughs> unfortunately. Unfortunately, is it? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Huh? A long weapon? Okay. 
My lab doesn't contain swords or any other weapons of this length. It doesn't? There was that big old axe, but like, don't think don't about think it. Don't think about that. <laughs> huh? Uh, really? That's yeah, no, true. there were, there were, um, what are they called? The, the... Staffs? Both Naginatas? Staffs? Oh, yeah, 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 those were in there. Yeah. Maki, what are you talking about? She I guess just, she just, she's like, I only looked at the guns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe she doesn't have like katanas, which I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, eh. I'm not, I'm not, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how Monokuma found out, but he must know I don't use swords for work. Oh. <sighs> when I first started working, I botched a mission with using a katana. I haven't used swords since, which is fine because they're a hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited to them personally, just like Angie's was. Okay, so she's specifically like, I don't have swords. Yeah. Okay. But how did they know all this? That is also interesting. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, the gold leaf on this katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hand now. We gotta look at some hands. Uh, okay. It must be pretty old for the gold leaf to flake off that easily. Got a minute? Why didn't you say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I'll have to wash them later. Maki scolded me, then stood in front of Kaede's effigy. Hey. I'm going to put the katana back where we found it. If it's too hard to watch, look away. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. I averted my gaze, and Maki stabbed the katana back in the wax effigy. Uh, at least um, that was nice of her to be like, I'm pu I'm I'm putting it back. If you don't want to look. Don't yeah, look. yeah. <sighs> By the way. Even so, why was a weapon stabbed into the wax effigy? A hanging wax effigy, no less. Yeah, why are they hanging? Was it part of the ritual, or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? Hmm. Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't even wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide a murder weapon than this. What are you talking about? Then, what's the reason for this? That's... I honestly have no idea. Well... We should investigate where this weapon came from. We might find a clue there. Okay. The ultimate anthropologist lab? Yes, let's do that. I want to make sure that the katana indeed came from that room. Okay. Gold leaf katana with a little bit of blood on the end. I uh, might as well the check the, the Kaede Kaede, doll. Yeah. I'll go through all the dolls. Yeah. The four effigies hung upside down make the scene particularly particularly eerie. Oh, okay. Ropes are dangling dangling from the exposed beams on the ceiling. Try to take a look at them there. If I remember correctly. Oh, I thought Angie made had to do. Angie made all of these wax figures. Hey. Is this rope from the warehouse? You're right. I believe so. And that means they won't be much of a clue. Hmm. Anyone could have gone and gotten these ropes. <sighs> Maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. <laughs> yeah, right? The warehouse does contain plenty of things that can be used for murder. Uh, um... Anyway, I know that these effigies are just wax. It still creeps me out. That's oh. true. The effigies look Sorry, exactly... this is all you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was Kaito and, and Shuichi last time, but unfortunately, unfortunately Kaito's tapped out right yeah. now. Yeah. The effigies look exactly like real people. Not just their faces, but their bodies too. The ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. By the way, why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of the ritual? Hmm. I'm not sure. What is it? If it's not, then why is it like this? Who would go out of their way to hang a wax effigy? Yeah, it's interesting. Right. If they're going to do this much work, there must be some reason for it. What could it be? Who would do this? The culprit? Angie? Or someone else entirely. Yeah, was it tampered with? Okay. Oh, that art. Yeah. Wow. It's intense. Yeah. So I guess I don't need to look at all of them. Probably not. That I, seemed... I mean, you can, you can try. If I click on this one, what does it do? 
Um, sorry, I'm just running yeah. through it. No, it's 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 a summary. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Someone else in time. Okay. Yeah. okay. So I don't need to click on no. all of them. All right. Angie or the Necronomicon? I'll do the Necronomicon and then I'll do the Angie. And then the, I'll do the door. Oh, this book. Yeah. The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. Okay, so the book is here. I knew it. This was the motive. The necromon. The necromon I know. I I want to call it the necro. The necromonokumacon. Or yeah. Something. <laughs> I, yeah. Exactly. The it, necromonokon. Like pun. Yeah. I thought they would have called it the necromonokon. I agree. <laughs> but they did not. <laughs> hey. Angie tried to perform the ritual written in this book, right? Okay. Yes. If we look at this book. We should learn the steps of the ritual she was trying to perform. Ooh. Let's take a look. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. The Necronomicon Resurrection Ritual. I like this uh, this, this drawing of ghost Monokuma. I agree. Zombie oh, ghost Monokuma. The big eye. Yeah. The zombie eye. Ooh. Uh, oh, sorry. I have to continue. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. Okay. The size and shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. It is not obvious who the effigy... If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. Oh. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Then close your eyes and wait. After a while, you should feel a light tap on your back. If so, that means the ritual was success. What the fuck? The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. Do we think that Angie got a light tap on the back and then chink and then Stabbed. It's possible. Uh, but she didn't burn the, the book. Didn't burn the book, that's true. So she didn't finish the ritual. Oh, so okay. these are the steps of the resurrection ritual. This is stupid. Angie really believed in this crap. Crap. <laughs> it's pretty obvious that you wouldn't be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place? I don't think we can rule anything out. Yeah, like if this if this is real life, then what? What? But if this is a simulation part two, then it's like, hmm, now that's interesting. But this doesn't give us any more like information because it didn't happen. So we don't like we weren't able to test yeah. this to see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the other thing. If the say I think if the seance works. I don't think it's gonna work, but I mean, like, I don't know. Like, if no, it's a good, it's works. a good point. It's like we similarly. This is this is an unfired gun. Yes. We also have the seance. Yes. So maybe we'll get more information soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Angie. Angie's body. Let's take a look here. There's blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound at the back of the neck as well as a laceration on her forehead. Okay, she got a laceration on her forehead too. I okay. knew it. The killing blow was a single stab to the back of the neck. A sneak attack, most likely. Well. Then what do you make of this wound on her forehead? <sighs> Maybe the culprit hit her on the head before stabbing her from behind? We didn't see any blood on anywhere else on the katana, at least. No. But, but her two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit, uh, culprit change weapons mid-attack? Oh, yeah. I suppose that would be unnecessary. Remember. Also, the wound on the, her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. Huh. What is going on with these two wounds? Oh, that's interesting. She has a, she has a forehead gash, but it doesn't look like it bled much. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe it was from a... Maybe it was not, like... It, it, maybe she already had that when she was murdered. I guess is what I'm saying. I don't know. Huh? Mm -hmm. Forehead injury. Okay. Huh? What's wrong, Maki? Got a minute? Move. 
Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Angie's body up by the shoulder. Is this... What's this doing crumpled underneath her body? Ooh! What is it? <gasps> and this is duct tape, right? What's duct tape doing here? Uh, um... I don't know. But it must be related to the case. Also has hair in it? Yeah. Yeah. Look, there are hairs stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Angie's, right? Bloody duct tape with Angie's hair on it. What could that mean? Yeah, that's wild. Okay, bloody hairy duct tape. <laughs> yeah, but... I'm surprised you spotted this, Maki. It was hidden under her body. So what? It was partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed it before I did. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that's true. <sighs> well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't do beat yourself up over it. Okay. Well then, it's a good thing you're used to corpses, Maki. Do you want to die? Uh huh? Do you want to die? <laughs> it's her catchphrase. Sorry. Sorry. J joking. I couldn't resist. Got a minute? You don't need to apologize. I was joking too. <laughs> We're, we'll we'll workshop the jokes, yep. Maki. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll work on it. That didn't sound like a joke, though. Okay, back door. Uh, let's check that out. With a different locking mechanism and the different door handle. This door is the lab's back door. Uh huh. Is this? This door has a sliding lock, and it's still locked. Oh, it's still locked. Wait, how do we know that it's still locked? That's true. Because it's... Oh, okay. see it. Yeah, that's fair. And because no one has used this door since we came in here, I believe Angie locked this door when she came in, and it's been locked ever since. Okay, so this door didn't come to play? Hey. Oh, wait. What's this? I spoke too soon. Ooh, there's gold on mm -hmm. it. Ooh. Look, there's something gold and shiny on the tab of the sliding lock. Gold and shiny? Could it be? Is that all right? Maki, may I see it for a minute? I want to try moving the sliding lock. Some grimy little gold covered hands that maybe were holding the katana. Touch this door. Right. You want to unlock it? Go ahead, do what you want. I carefully touched the knob uh, of the lock, avoiding the gold parts, and softly slid the lock open. Okay. Okay. Just as I suspected, this lock will slide without much effort. Okay. Hmm. Whether you lock it or unlock it, this could be an important clue. Okay, so... It doesn't take a lot of force to lock it and unlock it, and there's also gold flakes on it from some thingies, mm. some some gold-covered hands. Okay. Still, it's strange that the front door and the back door have different locks. Yeah. The front door that we came in has a cylinder lock, and the rear door over there has a sliding lock. See, because the, the front door has a cylinder lock, which is that lock on the door handle, those usually lock on the handle, which means you can usually lock them bef while the door's open, right? But I guess it's still unclear. Yeah, usually, I'm, but it, no, we just don't we just have don't know. confirmation of that. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. But by the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. Is this... In other words, this is what you might call... A locked room mystery, right? Hey, she said it! Yeah. Locked, huh? You're right. Yes, the cylinder lock's key was taken by the monocubs. So both doors could only be locked from the inside. Hmm. But only if you rule out Kokichi's lock picking, right? Oh, yeah. Huh. He could have picked the cylinder lock on the front door to get in and out of the lab. Mm-hmm, yeah. So he could have created this locked room mystery. It's possible that he locked the door from the outside by picking it after he killed Angie. Yeah, okay, well, I, I'm glad we're talking about Kokichi because I have saying that it was kind of setting up Kokichi in a number of ways as a possible suspect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I remember correctly. That's true. That's right. 
Also, he appeared at an oddly convenient time when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. I knew it. He's clearly suspicious. Okay, so so far, suspects are Tenko and Kokichi, at least according to the characters. The characters. Yeah. yeah. It is suspicious, but that solution seems a little too convenient. I agree. I don't think it's either Tenko or Kokichi, actually, so far at least, but we'll see. Okay. Lock picking. It's always hard to tell whether this is a I think they doth protest too much type of thing or whether it's like let's rule this person out early or yeah. whether yeah, it's always hard to tell. Yep. Oh, there are still things to investigate here for Probably a the other door. The other door. Yeah. Oh, over with here. The cylinder lock. Oh, okay, front door. Yep. It's unlocked. But I think there are still things to investigate. Never mind. Oh. What am I missing? I mean, there's the monitor. It's never the monitor. Yeah, I never I have to click on that. Um, let me go back over to Angie's body. Did I did I miss something? Um, uh, do the, the color of the sparkles matter? What do you mean? Or is it just what you're highlighting at that moment? It's just what you're it's highlighting. It's just what you're highlighting. Moment. I think. Okay. Let me see. Yep. I mean, I haven't. Is there anything else on her body? Um, let me look again. Uh, I don't. It think also I could can... be the the beams. Can we look up? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to see if I could click on the beams or the rope or something. Maybe the is this rope clickable? No. Um, do I need to click on each of these dolls? Uh, Rintaro appears to have. Oh no, that's, that's just, just the chain. Just a little yep. chain. Yep. I mean, I'll click on them anyway. We can just probably yeah. spam through. Okay. No, it's the same. And I'll double check with. Uh, Give me just to be clear. Me. Or yeah. just safe. Just see if this clears things. Poor Gonta sobbing oh. in the background. Oh, Gonta! <laughs> I know, buddy. Um. What am I, uh, what am I missing? Um. Is it really obvious? Is it right in front of me? I don't know. Um, let's, do I let's click out real quick and just make sure there's nothing in the broader view. Yeah, yeah. like this. Like, like, do we need to click on the back door in the broader view? No, that's probably an exit. Oh, like maybe I do. Maybe. Let me try that. Okay. No, okay. Yeah, this, is just a this is just a summary of this. Okay. <sighs> what am I? Uh, is it? Is it something I'm not? I mean, I'm, let me click on the monitor. It's the last thing that's here, right? It's never the monitor. It's never but... the monitor, but. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay, and there's nothing up. Uh -uh. Nothing up. Nope. Okay. Um. Can this I is leave? So silly. Can I leave now? How are there still things to investigate here? We've talked with everyone. Do I need to talk with Miu again? Hold on, let me just check. Ha, fucking virgin. Uh, no. Okay. No. <laughs> no, we did not. Did not need to talk with her again. Um. What am I? Uh, is it? Is it this on the? No. <sighs> Hold on. Let's let's, just let me get. Let me whatever. get closer. Let me get closer again. And do this. Do I need to click on the door over here? The katana? I was thinking maybe the rope. What? Oh, I don't know. I I, I don't know. Uh, uh, let's we'll cut well, away and we'll cut back when we found it. Yep. Uh, we're just gonna poke around a little bit. Be right back. Boo. Boo. Okay, we're back. It's the pool of blood. It was the pool of blood. I didn't realize that there was another hitbox. That here to sucks. Click on. Not a fan, but okay, fine. It pool just, of blood. It's just so we were just like. Flinging the thing around, and we and found it. Changed. it. Oh, okay. Bill. All right, that's fine. <laughs> we didn't spend a long time. We looking didn't around this click room. on literally everybody <laughs> again and talk with everybody. It's fine. Anyway, pool of blood. It's all good. And we leveled up. Yeah, nice. A small pool of blood has emanated from Angie's torso. This can't be from her forehead. Mm. The blood is from the back of her neck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this? This blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Angie was killed. Maybe more. Oh, interesting. That's a lot of blood. Hmm. That fits the 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monokuma file. Oh, 
Ah, uh, okay. Huh. Hmm. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. Hmm. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Uh, um... Maki, what's wrong? So what? It's not that important, but... The only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. <laughs> hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Like I'd know. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito, at least. That guy is useless. <laughs> oh my god! She dunks on him all the time. Yeah, I sure do. Yeah. He deserves it, though, so like, yeah. You know. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's continue. Alright. I'm not gonna contradict what you said, but yep. not gonna tunk on my bud. <laughs> my, your bro! Yeah, I think we finished investigating everything for now. Okay. Now I can leave. Got oh my minute. god. Is this really the time for, to rest? I don't think you found enough clues yet. Maki, I'm trying to leave. <laughs> Trust me. We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry up. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Uh, first, we should investigate the ultimate anthropologist lab. Okay. We may find a clue related to the katana. That's true. That's true. We need to check out the katana, if the katana really did come from that place. Hmm. Is something wrong, Maki? By the way. It just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? <laughs> sure, whatever. Well, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. It's not as if, uh, as if I asked you, but it's fine by me. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you're doing this on your own. Yeah, I mean, you're like, fine. I just would be doing my stuff, but I'm talking to you, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's like you're welcome to yep. be around. It's true that Maki is a tremendous help to me. Okay. Now I Onward. can leave. Uh, yeah. Yes, I would like to leave. Okay. Onward. I guess we'll go to Kyo's lab and then we'll check on the uh, how the seance is going. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's let's, the plan. Let's do that. Okay. Down the hallway we go. Indeed. Into the anthropologist yes. lab. There we go. There's been a break in, maybe. Potentially. Now it would be really fucked up if the the sword was still here. It's not still here. Okay. No, and nor is the, the cage yeah, for the look, seance. Looks like they're doing the seance yep. then. Yep. If I remember correctly, the gold leaf katana is from over here. I yes. just want to make sure that... Hold on. I'm going to look at this folded cloth first. Wait, there's other things to click on. Exhibit case. Hold on. Before I look at the gold katana, I'm also going to look at this. You're going to look at the, exi yeah, the exhibit Fuck! case. <laughs> I clicked on it. It's fine. I'll continue his thought. <laughs> it's just the sheath. Earlier, the katana was inside the sheath. Okay. Maki, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here. I'm certain of it. That's true. And doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? This is his research lab, after all. No. Not necessarily. Anyone could have come in here and taken it. That's true. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same with my lab, too. Okay. Updated. Hey, oh, hey. Oh. oh, what are you guys doing here? Aren't you part of a seance? Oh. Yeah. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with the seance? <laughs> <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess that is your signature look. Anyway. Anyway, I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, so I came back to get it. Huh? Something for the seance? Yeah. Yep, that white sheet over there. Wait, no. It's the folded sheet. Don't touch it! Hmm. No, oh, wait, I forget <laughs> about this. Um, we brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that sheet too. No! What is it? I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? <laughs> hey, don't ask me. I don't know why that we need that stuff neither. Either. <laughs> so that means... That's why I figured I'd do a little research on this seance before I got the sheet. Huh? Study. Um, so, let's see. 
Kokichi took a look around, and the book is to the right. Oh. I heard it was, like, some old handmade book? Oh, is it this? Yeah. Yep, the Cage Dog Village right here on the cover, so this must be it. Oh, it says. Mm. Okay. Let's see. What does it say about the Cage Child Seance? Kokichi flipped through the old book he picked up. He's just clicking on all the shit that I didn't get to click on yeah, yet. Yeah, he beat you to it. No! Ah! Okay, we're experiencing it with him. I guess that's true. Oh, is this the page? It's hard to read, but I can see the Cage Child is mentioned here. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, this is a... Yeah, Kyo's drawing in the same magic circle. Kyo's drawing the same magic circle as the one in this picture. Okay, let's see. In order to perform the caged child, you need five people, including the spirit medium, and a dark place with no light. If I remember correctly. Just like Kyo said. First, draw the magic circle passed down from the caged dog village on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle, and rest their forehead on the stone ground. Afterward, the other four participants must put in the uh, must put the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. Oh, okay. And finally, the with that. And finally, the go the dog god <laughs> <laughs> must be placed on top of the cage. I see. Also, it says we can't step on the magic circle during the preparations. Uh, um, the dog god? Do you mean the wooden dog statue? Yeah. When the preparations are complete, turn out all the lights to create complete darkness. The seance will begin when the four participants are standing at a corner of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the caged child song. After the song, ask, is the caged child, then say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit, and that's all it says. <sighs> that sounds complicated. <laughs> but complicated plans have a better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Whether or not it, uh, whether it works or not, Hio has been wanting to conduct the seance for a while. Yeah, it's been really into it. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. So, like, before this... Yeah, even before the killing game. getting here. Yeah. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. Oh, what a trick of fate. Mm. Right? Oh, yeah! He said he memorized every word of it, too. That's probably why he left the book here, because he can conduct the seance without it. But... But is it even possible? Contacting Angie's ghost? <laughs> <laughs> if you're so curious, why don't you join us, Shuichi? Huh? Uh-huh. Well, you know... You should see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? There's still time, you know. The seance has hasn't even started yet. That's true. Maybe it's better if you join them. Huh? You think so? I don't understand. Well, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. <sighs> but whether you believe or not, as a detective, you should be there to observe what happens. That's a good point. As a detective, huh? Okay. Yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking. All right. Well, I'll be waiting for you. Of the three empty rooms, we're in the middle one. Okay. And you took the stuff I wanted to look at. That's fine. <laughs> Kokichi spoke as though he was inviting me to go play, and then left the room. <laughs> okay. Cage Child's been at. Um, let me click on it anyway, just to see. It's probably nothing. The Cage Child book is still here. Kyo said that he read it so many times he can recite it by memory. Okay, it's just a summary. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, doesn't look like there's anything else. I mean, there's the bookshelf. I can click on the bookshelf. Let me click on the bookshelf. 
What's the deal with that? Packed with books. Okay. Oh, not relevant. Yeah. All right. And then these are just the doors in and out. Yep. Back door and then the front door. Door in the hallway. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm finishing here. That's fine. That sounds good. Okay. Bye, Maki. Bye, Maki. We're going to go to the seance now. Um, Is it back this way? Yeah, it's in here. The in middle, the room. middle room. Okay. Let's see what's going on in here. Ugh. Oh, okay. Hello. So, Kokichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shuichi? <laughs> you are most welcome to join us. Oh. Is, uh, is what I would like to say. However, only five, including the spirit medium, may join. Oh, man. Oh, man, what a shame. Well, Keyboy, you're out. Me? Why me? I agree with Kokichi. I was thinking this for a while. Listen up. Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. <laughs> you see. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help was appreciated, Kibo. Why you? <laughs> don't say any of you feel guilty for kicking me out after forcing me to come. <laughs> That's why we're apologizing. Do not mind No me. one's apologized yet. Fine, fine, our bad. Just don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. How rude. Why would I do that? Stop it. Stop whining, Kibo. I want to start the seance as soon as possible. <laughs> fine. But I won't forget this betrayal, Shuichi. Kibo will remember this. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we kicked him out. What did I do? <laughs> oh, no. Kibo is Kibo's so gonna fucking snap one day. <laughs> he's getting bullied so hard. By he's gonna be everybody like, at this point. Yes, yeah. he's gonna be like, surprise. They were like, you don't have a soul, get out of here. He's you like, can't be in a seance. <laughs> but I do have guns. <laughs> <laughs> does he have guns or does he have a tape recorder? I don't know. Uh, I mean, he, he's analog. And, I mean, he could just have a gun. I guess gu guns he, are analog, you're yeah. right. <laughs> It's just a, it's a bolt but, action rifle. Yeah, but the thing is, it's not like built into his arm. He has to pull it out of his chest cavity and then fire it like you're actually yeah. holding a gun. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what, what he has is a little compartment yes. that happens to store a gun. <laughs> stores a gun. <laughs> Very high tech. <laughs> Oh, well, we should probably hang out with him to figure out what his deal we is. We did that one time and he breathed on us. Oh, yes, you're right. He it was a hand dryer. Yep. That's right. He breathed on us. <laughs> and they were like, okay, that well, was the weirdest thing that's happened today. Yep. That's enough of that. <laughs> Kyo, can we hang out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kyo, I hope you're not the culprit. <laughs> oh, Kyo, I hope you're not the culprit. I hope you're okay. So, okay, we gotta get back into this. So, now Shuichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Do you understand? Do not enter the, s the magic circle that I've drawn on the floor. It is drawn with purifying salt, so it is easily disturbed when stepped on. Um, you drew this magic circle with salt? That's, That's kind correct. of amazing, actually. Yeah. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances more likely to succeed. Well then. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, Terrifying. but it may also unleash a curse. Uh, okay. Got it. I'll be careful. I'm surprised you're able to draw this without even looking at the picture. Oh, please. I've had this memorized for years. <laughs> Do not worry. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle should be perfect. Of course, I also have the caged child's song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? I have copies of the words to the song down here. Please commit it to memory. Everyone else has already memorized it. After all, you'll be unable to read in the dark. Huh? I have to memorize the lyrics now? Oh. You're a detective, so I expect your memory to be up to the task. Here is the melody. Please don't make me sing it. 
Okay. I listened to Kyo sing the song and did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. More singing for you today, Gina. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's just a little off. <laughs> I'm doing my best, no, but everyone's great. just a little off. <laughs> you're doing great. Do not worry. <laughs> All right. I, I think I've got it now. <laughs> Your memory is extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Well then. Let us begin the ritual right away. How exciting! Yay! We finally get to see Angie! So then... Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. Then I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit could go in. No. No, I'll do it. Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's right! You want to talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way, you can say goodbye to her. And after you've uh, finished saying your goodbyes, keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else! Please! Please? Oh, Tenko. Tenko. Oh. Oh, Himiko. By the way... Also, Himiko, let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So, if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. Oh. <laughs> You'll feel better when you do. <laughs> I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. And venting your anger onto something that can can really cheer you up. Yes. Train uh, uh, train your uh, train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. That's really sweet, Tenko. It is important to express emotions it in is. healthy ways. I think you've trained too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> oh, how so sweet. It seems like the two of them made up. That's good. So then. So now that we've decided on a spiritual medium, let us begin. That was great and all, but Tenko, get I, in the I don't middle. really care. Tenko, get in the circle. <laughs> <laughs> don't step on the circle. <laughs> okay, 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 jeez. <laughs> We're working yeah. together, Kyo. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Himiko, I'll see you later. She's gonna do it, okay? Now, I would like the spirit medium, Tenko, to sit within the center circle. Please be sure to walk on the path, so as not to disturb the magic circle. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch your steps since it's so dark in here. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. I guess you gotta like, you, you know, get, you do a little- Crouch down a little yeah, on the ground, yeah. Little, little huddle. Forehead on the ground, yep. yes. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Okay. She just went down. She's like, okay, here she's I like, go. I got it. Here is we this go. Is it? <laughs> Piece of cake. I have five star flexibility. <laughs> oh, Tinko. She's really grown on me. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, not. I don't mean that in like a. I wish she hadn't. <laughs> I mean that in a like a. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Duncan Rumpa, char giving characters characterization. I love I, it. No, I, I, I really kind of like how they approach Tenko because like. It's not that this hasn't been there from the beginning. True. It's just that, like, as she's warmed up to everybody and lowered her, like, you know, she speaks about expressing yourself and being comfortable, but she's also lowered a lot of her, her guard, which I think has been nice to see. Very true. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So then. Starting now, <clears throat> starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things left to be done. Let's see. First, we must place this iron cage atop Tenko. I shall leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. 
And please keep in mind, walk carefully so as not to disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, you can count on me. I may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong. I shouldn't have lied. I'm way too weak for this kind of stuff. <laughs> All right, that was actually really funny. <laughs> it's made of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Hold on! Don't just drop it on top of me! I know. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. <laughs> oh, no. Please don't jinx us! Oh. <sighs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? I shall take that role. Oh, okay. Hey, bud. Hi. All right. Everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? Well, I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. The four of us may need to do this together. The statue is quite heavy. Oh. You're doing great, Amiko. Oh, Pimiko, just use your magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even with four people, it's still really heavy. <sighs> oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton. <laughs> no, it is not much more than 175 pounds. <sighs> I'm totally wiped. <laughs> Everyone here is just weak. Yeah, <laughs> admittedly, it's, it's not maybe the perfect crew for this job. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the, this crew is the physically weakest, I yep. think, of the whole group. And the strong one is unfortunately on the floor right now. Yep. So. <laughs> Didn't think that through. I'm magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. <laughs> okay. Are you sure it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? The iron cage was made specifically for seances, so it can hold this weight. What does that mean? It's, I mean, the dog and cage Oh, are, oh, yeah. that the the cage won't collapse because of yeah. the heavy thing it's, on it. It's made to hold the dog. Got it, yeah. got it, okay. Okay, I guess that's fine then. Now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing it. Okay. Okay. So then. This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Got it! Understood! I will not say a word until the seance is over! Okay, everyone! See you guys after the seance! Oh, Tanko! Well then... The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your choosing. Okay. We each stood in a different corner. Okay, here we go. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Yeah, got it. Mm -hmm. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. Okie dokie, then I'll blow out the candle now. Boy, here we go. I like this little animation of the candle. I do too. There, yeah. There's a lot of art in this, yeah. <laughs> this sequence. I walked up to the closest candle and blew out the flame. Oh. The room instantly fell into complete darkness. Pitch black darkness. What is going to happen? I mean, question one is angie or no angie yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah that's like what yeah oh so so, so dark that something or something you couldn't see your own body gotcha yep overcoming my instinctual fear of the dark i moved along the wall back to my corner then began the singing 
At last, at last, at long last. We actually are getting a song. <laughs> <laughs> Kyo led us all in the caged child song. Young guard dog and little lost girl Sealed within an iron cage Whoa. <laughs> At mountain's bottom within the darkness At last, at last, at long last how many will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just one? Uh oh. What was that? Will the what was that? Dog run far away, or did it eat the little girl? At last, at last, at long last. All right, what was, what was the thunk noise? Got an achievement. Reach Conduct out, a seance. Reach out and touch Wraith. We okay. finished singing the song, but I thought I heard an odd sound in the middle of it. What was that? Yeah, what was that? Was that somebody uh hiding something? Was that something occurring? Was that something falling? It was like a crash noise. That was weird. Say. Oh, is the cage child Angie Yonaga? He began calling. Now, if the medium answers. Say. Is the cha is the cage child Angie Yonaga. What's going on? Say. Is the caged child Angie Yonaga? What's the matter? What's wrong? Why won't Angie answer? Hold on. Himiko, I was very clear that you were not to speak, yes? <sighs> but something's weird. Why won't she answer? That'd be really fucked up if, like, Tenko just got crushed in the thing or, like, died. That would be so wild if two people died. I mean, we've had that happen before. Mm -hmm. So, no! No, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh, no! This is bad. This is bad, which means that's 0 for 2 on the things that could have shown, like... A actual, like, supernatural. Yeah, or, supernatural Or whether things. or not it's a simulation, yes! to your point. Yeah. Yes! I, I follow. Oh, yeah, no. No. <laughs> the, no confirmation, but, but we're we, not done with the scene. Um, we need to keep going. Maybe it failed? Let's see. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? What? Is that okay? Well. Just for now. Confused, I walked along the wall back to the candle. I managed to strike a match and light the candle once again. There's too much art for this scene. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, there's blood! No! She's no! Fuck! Oh man! Ah, because someone was under the floor! Like, there's the, there's the floor! Like, there's something going on with the floor! Like, there's gaps in the floor! Oh my god. <sighs> okay, alright, let's keep going. Sorry. I mean, it is a case three. It's, it's a case three, like, you have to pop two off on a case three, right? And, of, and she said she wasn't allowed to speak. But then, like, why didn't she, like, scream or yell or anything? Like, that... That's a great question. Because yeah. it was... Yeah. <sighs> okay. Hey, what's going on? Did it really fail? That cannot be. That shouldn't be the case. The seance was perfect. What? Is Angie not coming? Is that still Tenko in there? Hmm. Tenko? And they did all that build up for her too. Like everything that she was saying. I should have seen the death flags. Yeah. They I'm were a little so surprised you didn't. Death flags. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, I actually was like, oh shit, how am I gonna read these, this scene so that it's not obviously a death flag? 
That's so, everything she has done up until this point, like, has been super death laggy. Like, from the last episode and this one. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah, Doc and Robin just keeps pulling one over me on me <laughs> every single time, even when I know what's going to happen. Ah. I see, yes. Uh, I told her that she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> <laughs> she follows orders well, but how about you let her out for now? Hold on. Wait. Dark arts such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may stay in the medium's body. Seeing as how this was a failure, I don't think any spirit is sticking around, but whatever. Oh, okay. Just like setting up, Kyo instructed us on how to clean everything up. Look at the floor. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's something in the floor. Like the circle's been moved. There's like a gap. Do you see that wood? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, carefully yeah. removed everything exactly in the order Kyo directed. We're gonna pull this curtain, this this fucking cloth off, and be like, da da! Like there's a body underneath, and then even even the even body Kikichi discovery was like, announcement. The body yeah. discovery announcement. Can you believe? Frankly, I think that's their best move because it makes you. It's like okay, then they're not gonna do that. Right? <laughs> that's actually. I was. Yeah, I was it's gonna the smartest play. It was very good because I was gonna comment on all. of like Tenko's behavior, but then, but then Kokichi said that I'm like, that's funny. Like, that's <laughs> yep. that's very funny. It was very okay. smart. <sighs> now, I will no. remove the sheet. Oh, he's just saying it. Kyo yeah. pe uh, pinched the fabric gently and pulled it aside. Oh. Ah. <sighs> yeah. Perhaps something. Is a miss. Yeah. Yeah. Himiko ran towards the cage at a sprint. Uh, Himiko, I told you not to step on the. But she wasn't listening. She jumped onto the cage and. Oh no. Fueled by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage, lifted it up, and... thought there'd be another victim during the investigation maybe monofanny's green puke was predicting this tragedy <laughs> ah oh the puke's its normal color now i guess it was predicting this for now everyone please assemble in the séance room there's something darkly funny but also terrible about the fact that this a double murder happened when so far as we can tell the killing game didn't care yes like at all it's, it's like monokuma's fucking off somewhere the, the cubs are and, and, and two people are dead it's just running on its own yeah now. no it's, like it's there's something oh it's fucked up yeah messed yeah. up about it definitely a second body discovery announcement played it didn't take long for everyone to come running Oh my god. What? T Tenko? Seriously? <laughs> oh, what is this? How did this happen? How did this happen? Tenko! Gonta, so sorry. Gonta, no could protect you. Wait a minute. Shuichi explained the situation. I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? Well, that's. I don't know. What's happening? Do they have a Monokuma file for this? I mean, I guess. I guess they know what right away. Earth? 
I'm surprised too. I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation. I guess has this ever happened? Have yes, we, uh, with, with uh, also with, in a chapter three. In a chapter three yeah. in Duck and Rumpa one. <laughs> exactly. Yes, yeah. with in um Celeste's case. Yep. Yeah. 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 With yeah. Me. What'd you say? With Hifumi. With Hifumi. Yep. Yeah, Hifumi. Wow. Well, and uh, and uh, and Taka. And Taka. If, you know, it was one of the. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was. Uh, yeah. Well, Taka was the first. Was the one that got murdered. First. Yeah. And then and then we find Hifumi and then Yeah. Yeah. But still. <laughs> yes. But yes. Someone it, died it happened in the during of, in the in the middle of an investigation. Yeah. Yes. But this was like someone just like was I mean, yes, Hifumi was also murdered. But like like someone was just actively, like very actively yeah. murdered in the middle of this investigation. Yeah, we were just talking with her. Yes. <laughs> like what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um um, I guess for now you should have should maybe start the investigation right away. Say. Before that, I would like to confirm something. The culprit who killed Angie may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko, yes? Huh? Huh? If so. What happens in the event there are two murders by two people? What if there are two blackened? Will we need to find them both at the class trial? That's right. Now that you mention it, that's a good point. What would happen in that scenario? Eh? Huh? Wh what would happen? Bonadam, uh, what would happen? Um. Wh uh, what would happen? Not that. Why do you look so lost too, Monodom? I thought you were gonna run things instead of daddy. I I never expected something like this to happen. I really don't know what to do. Really, I don't know. Oof. Oh man, they're all disorganized. If you can't decide the class trial's objective, then we won't know what to investigate. Father! The father always knows what to do. Well, we should ask him for help. No way! Have you already forgotten? Daddy's in no condition to help us. Oh, hi. Oh, it's all our fault that Daddy ended up like that. Yeah. Oh. Oh wait, I thought that was I thought that was Monokuma no. for a second. <laughs> huh? It's all your fault, Monofanny? Daddy. Daddy, help! We don't know what to do on our own. Ah. We gotta use the power of love. That ought to snap him back to normal. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I keep accidentally hitting that. The, that won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. I mean, yeah, whoever's controlling Monokuma just doesn't seem to be there currently. I don't know if there's <laughs> even someone controlling Monokuma. What's going on? Great That's questions right. all around. Oh my god. That's not true. Anything is possible with the power of love. You don't understand that because you've never been loved before, Monodam. Oh, fuck. Daddy, I love you, so please come back to normal. Father! I want to see you, father. I love you with all my heart. It's very funny that you have to play all the modern <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Ah, You're making me blush. Hi, welcome back. I don't know if I can play this character oh, right hi. now. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to find out. We're about at the end of this episode, yep. so. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> were, you good while, were you good while I was away? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, he's licking no, back no. the other one too. <laughs> Just the this one is a cub, right? Him. Oh my god! With you running the academy, I was able to fully enjoy my relaxing vacation. <laughs> oh, that tickles! Father's intense love is getting me all soaked. Daddy, gross! Gross! Stop! Gross! Okay, appropriate reaction for Monodom. <laughs> Those are great line reads, too. Yeah, no. <laughs> How do you do that? Oh, no. Man, my vacation was just what I needed. 
It's important to take time off to relax. To tell you the truth. Normally, most companies won't even let you take time off to go on vacation. But I was able to do it. The secret is just leave whenever you you get permission or not. Whether right. you get permission or not. All right. Huh? Wait, so then who's this baddie, baldy then? Nah. Yeah. Oh, just a part-timer. I got to cover while I was gone. Hey! Here's your pay like we agreed on. Now take it and get out of here. I feel really bad. I want to release you from Monokuma. He's not great right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Huh? I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. <laughs> All right. Huh? Now that that nuisance is out of the way, what were you guys talking about again? Yeah. A double murder? Oh, uh, that's right. What happens if your votes, uh, uh, to your votes if there are two blackened candidates? I'll answer that. Well, I have an answer to that. It's first come, first served. Huh? First come, first served? Hey, um... The blackened who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. The blackened who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. Okay. So the one who killed Angie. In other words... In okay. other words, if the blackened who killed Angie isn't the same one who killed Tenko, then only Angie's killer will be considered the blackened. Whoa, so someone can get out of can get nope. away with murder. Uh, they can get away with, with murder, but they can't escape with murder. Cause only the black end can it so it's just like they just kinda fucking killed someone. They just killed someone if yeah. it's a different person. If it's a different person. Oh man. Okay. So you're right. They just but get away with Would they have known that? Because if they did this without the bear and the cubs didn't know. They didn't have that information, so they just Unclear. did it. So, so that muddies lots of muddied waters. Okay, that's super interesting because that means potentially when we come out of this trial, there might be just a murderer walking uh -huh. around us who does not it's not get... the first time that's happened. Well, they already have one. Yeah. Uh, uh, true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, Tenko's killer wasted a kill, and Tenko herself was a waste of a victim. If it's not the same person. If it's not the same person. Yeah. Oh, then. oh, I'll add this to the school regulations so you can review it later. Go ahead. I also updated the Monokuma file. Do your best to investigate this murder, too. But it doesn't benefit you. Unless it's the same Unless killer. Unless it's the same killer. We just don't know. We're going to have to investigate it as well. Oh, yeah, you can't shit. not investigate it. Yeah. Boy, everything is going so smoothly now that father's running things again. Leaders got to be able to take decisive action. Indecision is just the worst. Daddy! Daddy, you're glowing! You're glowing like a lamp! Oh, hmm. Monodom. There's nothing better than being praised by my cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. This feels like Monodom was trying to sabotage or something. I don't know. We'll just see. I don't know. There's something going on. For as long as you live, I will never let any of you go. But once you die, I will forget your names. Yeah, right. <laughs> he just left us behind while he was saying he'd never let us. He just left us behind while saying he'd never let us go. How nice. That's why he's so amazing. Please <laughs> like me some more, Daddy. <laughs> I had to say the I've line. Been, I've been this whole, every time you've read for Monophony this entire sequence, I have been like, and you've now said that. Well done. <laughs> In that voice. I know. We've all been there. <laughs> yep. Sometimes. We've all had, we all have things that Danganronpa's made us said. <laughs> yep. And you just got to power through. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Monodom. Leaving at the end. Um, oh my god. I think I know what this scene is still going No, but, but I now have to no, stop. No, I agree. Like, I think um, we've gotten a lot of information and also another death. That might have Goodbye, been a, a useless death. Yeah. Fuck. I also just lost both Tanko and Angie, but you then I did. also, by counterpoint, had Shuichi and Maki talk to each other for a full <laughs> episode. <laughs> you did. So, you know, I'll take it. It is what it is. Equivalency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Equivalent exchange. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. 
Oh no, we lost Tenko. Oh yeah. my god. All right. I really liked Tenko. Uh, I was really liking her too. Mm -hmm. I was really liking her too. Fuck. Man, that sucks. All right, next time we'll finish talking with the group here, talk through what happened and see if we can start investigating Tenko's death as well. Man. Sounds like a plan. Yep. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye. Thank you.